Hello, I'm Sefi, Innovation Shepherd at Tom. I'm a maker at heart and I've been involved with Tom since the very beginning. You're up to the workshop. You're building the mother of all makerspaces. So your teams will have all the tools they need and can focus on developing their dream products. You're going to need to go shopping, set up, break down, keep track of all the nuts and bolts, so many things. So you're probably asking yourselves, where do I start? Well, the first thing you're going to have to do is choose a location. You have to choose between an existing makerspace or building a space from the ground up. If you can, we always recommend going with an existing makerspace. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. Next on our list is recruiting a workshop manager, who is an expert in everything tech and fabrication related. This person organizes the workshop, makes sure that the teams have all the materials they need and that all the machinery is working. Your workshop manager is ready to hit the ground running and you're ready to make a tool list. Take a pen and start writing. Do you have a pen? Okay, you're going to need a grinder, a compressor, metal hammer, circular saw, consumables. No, 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 we're just joking. Everything you need is listed in the book of Tom. Before going shopping, make sure you're clear on what you must have, what's nice to have, and what the makerspace already has. And the number of participants, so you don't forget your amounts. You're ready to go shopping. Feel free to ask your local hardware store or 3D printing company to lend or donate tools. It's a great way for them to give back to the community and get involved. Here's the thing, you can't plan for everything. And sometimes, teams need materials you don't have. Set aside a small spending budget, generally $200 to $800 per team. Let the teams go out and buy on their own whatever they need. You can reimburse them at the end of the makeathon. Last but not least, don't forget that we're team players. Encourage participants to bring their own tools, materials, and manufacturing equipment, especially if they have a specific tool they love and must have at the event. So you've finished recruiting, shopping, and organizing. How do you organize all the tools so it's not a chaotic mess and no one cuts off their fingers? In order for you to keep the workshop as safe as possible, while making sure that the teams can use the tools and get their work done easily, we recommend you split up the tools between three areas at the Makeathon. The first area is the heavy machinery station. It's the dirty danger zone, designated for machinery, processing tools, and everything dusty, fumey, or noisy. You'll want this station to be in a specially closed space, all on its own, to keep the noise level down. This is where you'll supervise everything going on, and have dedicated staff members operating the tools for the teams. Make sure to set aside a place for consumables. You'll set up two manufacturing stations for soldering and sewing, spread out in the main maker space. They can be used by all participants freely after they complete their safety training. In the makerspace, we recommend that each team has a large table with a desktop 3D printer. Don't worry if you don't have enough, but remember, there is no such thing as too many 3D printers. At Tom, our motto is safety first, second, and third. We cannot stress this enough. Keeping a good floor plan is one important step towards having a safe space. The others are scheduling safety trainings and designated safety officers. Immediately after the opening ceremony, you want to start your safety trainings. We want to highlight three rules. Read up on the others in the Book of Tom. Safety. There are safety regulations for everything you do. Familiarize yourself with the local makerspace, safety policies, local law, etc. Read them and follow them. Nominate safety officers and take no risks. In addition to these rules, use your own logic and make sure that no one touches something they're not familiar with. Follow instructions even if you have experience. Tom is a special event. You may be tired, stressed, take extra time and read instructions before using machinery. The most important thing is that everyone has a great time and stay safe. Now get to work.